Hi kids, this is the moment in church where it's going to be worth popping down your toys and coming and having a look at the TV screen. So I'll give you like two seconds to come and have a look at what we're going to do because I've got a game for you in a minute. But first of all, I've got a question. Who knows who this is? That's right. It's Waldo or Wally, depending where you live. What do you call him here in New Zealand? Is it where's Waldo or where's Wally? What, what's his name? Okay. Well, he's been known for being quite tricky to find, isn't he? Sometimes there are other things in the way distracting us from finding the real deal. Now, I've got a game to play, which is a little bit like looking for Waldo. But actually, this time you've got to find the hidden objects in the picture before the time runs out. So see how you get on with this. Can you find the horseshoe? What about the golf club? Can you find a boomerang? Do you see an open book? Do you see an envelope? What about the pitcher? Can you find a salt shaker? Do you see a hockey stick? How did you get on? There's some more to do, so I'll pop the link for the video in the chat on the service if, if as a family or gathering you're desperate to find the rest of the images later on. But for now, I just want us to have a think about how sometimes when we're looking for things in pictures like this, we find the things really quickly and other times it takes a long time. But if you keep looking, you know you'll always find the thing because you know it's there, even if you can't see it at first. And it's a little bit the same when we want to find God in a situation. We know that he's here. The Bible tells us so. God is everywhere. He's always with us. But sometimes he's really hard to find. And we have to be willing to look for him. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 13 and 14 in the message translation it says this. When you come looking for me, you'll find me. Yes. When you get serious about finding me and want it more than anything else, I'll make sure you won't be disappointed. We need to be serious about finding God. We need to really seek him out when we need to hear from him. He also said that we have to want to find him more than anything else. We have to want him more than food, more than our jobs, more than oxygen, more than our next heartbeat. When we seek him with that kind of intensity, we won't be disappointed. I wonder, grown-ups and kids, have you been half-heartedly seeking God recently? Or have you been on your knees desperately looking for him? Have you turned over every rock looking for Jesus? Because Jesus promised that if we would seek, then we will find. If we will ask, then we will be given. And if we knock, things will be opened. Do you ever feel that hearing from Jesus or finding him is easy? No, me neither. Sometimes it's really hard. It requires us to do some work. It requires us to make some serious sacrifices. 
But guys, don't give up in your search for him because he wants you to find him for the answer that you've been waiting on. I promise he is right there in front of you. Block out all the lookalikes and all the crazy distractions and you will find Jesus. I'm going to say a quick prayer for us now. Father God, thank you that you have revealed yourself in Jesus and through your word and by the power of your Holy Spirit. And we pray this morning, Holy Spirit, that you would help us to see Jesus, that you would help us to be relentless in our pursuit of finding you in the midst of our day to day situations. When things don't make sense, when things are difficult, when we are feeling sad or mad or bad. Would you help us to find you, Lord God? We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Man, it's been a long time since we've done that. <laughs>